You think we're gonna beat all these games? Nope. Backlog boys. No, probably not. It's the boys. Hey! We're eating candy. Trolley's in my mouth. We're shooting dragons. Do we have trolley trees? It's a great day. Trolley, the company that brings you sour bright crawlers, the gummy worms with the sour powder on them that we all know and love. Uh, apparently they in the in the seasonal time that we're in. Of course, that's this a little the first time I've that's, seen it. That's a little but. behind from the air date, but um, it's 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 after it's after the holidays when you're watching this, but it's before the holidays when, oh! we're, when we're recording it. Didn't expect them to go up. Um, and they have these little these they little sour trees. gummy Christmas trees. Yeah, it's and great. they are delicious. They are so, they are softer than the worms. I have a feeling these are new. I've never seen these before. Okay. I think this is the first for this uh, holiday season here. Dude, I need a little can of oil for my squeaky D-pad here. Do you? Yeah, it's Dude, it's out of control. It's only when I press to the right. You said it was also cheesing you, wasn't it? Well, my D-pad was cheesing me on the uh, the plane level because I'd, I'd try to press directly left or right, and I'd hit a diagonal. Mm. But in the ground sections, it really doesn't matter because I can't move diagonally. It would just ang diagonal, angle lucky. my gun for a fraction of a second, which is not a big deal. This face feels way easier all of a sudden. These little guys ain't cheesing me so hard. Look at all those frowny ones. See that? The frowny ones? Yeah. I don't have time to look at their faces, Vaughn. I'm gonna know who you're fighting. Help! Aw. Oh. Damn, dude, I'm sorry. It's alright. One boy, three dragons. We can't be fire every, every single second, you know. Good. Good eye on the- yep. What? God, dude. Those are so close and so fast. I know. Well, they don't move quickly, but it's just right on you as mm -hmm. soon as it comes out. <laughs> I love that he tries to spook you when he comes out. I'm a spooky dragon. Can you think of anything that, like, as a kid, like, honestly spooked you? Oh, yeah. Like, like something that... I guess not just like a one-time thing, but there was some like recurring thing, maybe, or like a like, scene like a, in a like a part of a movie that you always watched, or yep, yep. something uh, like that. That was my th that was always spooky. There's one I was just thinking of recently. <laughs> um, oh really? Uh, what was it? Um, what was it? Dun, dun, dun. What was it? I'm, I it's I just was thinking about it yesterday. Hmm. Well, I can think of um, I can think of one yeah, for wanna, me. You want to start going and all? Uh, I'll I used to watch Fantasia a lot as a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, still love it. There's something really just magical about it. Uh, that old Disney magic that doesn't exist anymore. Um, there, there's two. There's actually two scenes in Fantasia Whoa! that would always spook me. I got gotcha. you. Thank you. Um, the very, very close to the beginning, there's the fight scene with the dinosaurs. That one used to always scare me. There's something about it that was just very scary to me. Like how the music would like get kind of quiet. It'd be like... Mm -hmm. And uh, I forget the name of the composition. I might be dead here. Oh, nice. Get me, get me, get me. All right, we got two me, specials. Me, me. We got two specials off. Oh, God, I tried, man. You did. Oh! Right in the, right in the face. Right in the face. Uh, and we then gotta, the, we gotta watch him a little. And then the other scene closer. was the night on Bald Mountain with with the Char Charnabog, the demon guy sitting on top of the mountain and like summoning all the demon armies. Yep, yep. That used to scare the shit out of me. I remember watching it in my room with the lights off and being like, "Why am I doing this?" I'm like hiding from my TV in the bunk bed. <laughs> oh, right in my. Head. I vividly, I vividly remember both of those like, and how they made me feel as a kid. Like, even though they don't spook me anymore, I, I mm -hmm. still can feel how they made me feel. Got you. I think, uh... What was it? it I'm, I'm vividly seeing... Like... Oh, wow. two boys, one Again. flame. That's number five, folks. Yep. If you're keeping track from last week. It was... <laughs> I'm I'm seeing a uh, like I was horrible. Someone looking down at their hand and it's like bubbling, Ugh. kind of like in the Matrix when the agent is like 
fucking imploding from the inside. Which is, is the definition of imploding. Exploding from the inside. <laughs> didn't didn't need to say that. But you know what I'm talking about? Where, like, his hand is bubbling. Wait, actually, that's not the same thing. What? Im- like, exploding from the inside out is not the same thing as imploding. I mean, I guess imploding is more Im- collapsing. Yeah, imploding is but- collapsing in on, on itself. And, like, becoming smaller. Which I, I'm trying to think of what... God damn! Oh, wow. That was two different flames, folks. It was. Just at the same time. That was two boys, two flames. Was it animated or was it live action? I'm... Tr- I'm at a loss at remembering... Oh! Oh! I remember. Okay. Now I remember why I just recently rem- thought about it. It's because it was... I saw... Uh, Chamber of Secrets... With the Minnesota Orchestra yesterday. Oh, it's in Harry Potter. It's in it's in Chamber of Secrets when uh, when damn it. So like Voldemort is you know like this this young kid who comes out of the diary. Yeah. And he like when when Harry starts to like stab the diary, he starts to like essentially boil. It looks like oh, and like his hand like his damn it, his hand starts to like bubble up and like oh, no no sorry it's when Harry and Ron become Damn it. Malfoy's friends. Oh, fuck! Yep. And when they transform into Malfoy's friends with the potion or whatever, they, like, their hands, like, bubble until they're bigger Ugh. and nasty. And that always unsettled me. Dude, the first two Harry Potter movies are so good. Yeah, it's amazing. They're it's, so good. It's, it's so good. Especially the first one. I love the first Harry Potter movie with OG Dumbledore and John Williams music. Yep. Man, it's good. And when they're all little kids, yeah, yeah. Uh, this I haven't s- much like when I saw Sorcerer's Stone last time, last winter. It this was the first time I've seen this movie in like possibly a decade. <laughs> yeah, and man, is it it's phenomenal. So you got to see it at Orchestra Hall with the orchestra doing the score? Yep. Oh, dude, that's so yeah, awesome. A John Williams score live. Yeah. Like, it was in- incredible. Yeah. I really wanted to go to the E.T. one when they did that. Yep. We saw, uh... We saw Nightmare Before Christmas, and we saw Home Alone. I tried to save you. Which was awesome. I was, uh... I know Bracky went to Little Mermaid. What a dork. <laughs> yeah, you dweeb. He fucking loves the Little Mermaid, dude. Does he? Yeah. He's not even, like, ashamed of it. Sometimes he's gotta not be. Yeah. He loves something. The only thing about the Little Mermaid is that it just makes me a little bit uncomfortable because of how sexualized it is. And she's not a, an adult. <laughs> so, that makes it a little awkward for me. Like, most... Like, pretty much any animated Disney feature with female characters is, yeah. like, hyper-sexualized features and behavior. But it's, like, done in such a way that you think you're not supposed to be noticing it, mm-hmm. and you think you're there's something but wrong you with are. you. <laughs> or at least that's how it is for oh. me. Come on, come on. And it's especially weird when the Disney female is anthropomorphic animal and not even human. Oh, yeah. And you're just like, what's going on inside me? Or, this I mean, this happens a <laughs> gimme, lot gimme. In, video, yeah. in like video games and anime. Oh, yeah. Where it's like... Same thing. It's like form of like a teenager, but yeah. 300 years old. <laughs> yeah, and but you're like, but still acts like a child. Yeah, and then you're, and like, you're like, what? Okay, I, is this like an excuse but, to but make it okay also, for me to be attracted? But still overly sexualized. Like, ah, damn it! Like all three. Yeah, <laughs> and you're just like, what? Yeah, yeah. It's like they just uh, they like arbitrarily made them 300 years old so that mm-hmm. weebs could be safe, or because they're like some dragon, like a half dragon or something, and dragons are old or something. Right, but yeah. like they just retconned that. So that the weebs would be safe. <laughs> Buying their pillows and mouse pads. Oh, God. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll try that again. <laughs> Sorry, folks. So, uh, so McNally. 
Oh yes, we said we were going to talk about this last week. We hinted at it. Uh, yeah, so we were this talking is about just like Thursday or Friday. This is fresh. Happened, right? This is fresh news and at the time of Monday recording right now. So um, yeah, the so t- yeah, today is a Monday. Uh, last Thursday, the school sent out an email to all the students, faculty, Shit. and staff, saying that the the next day, the following Friday, uh, there would be no paychecks. And that uh, teachers and faculty should continue to work uh, through the end of the semester so that students could graduate. Uh, but that the school would close. But the school was closing. In a matter of like a couple days. Yeah, the school is closing two days from now. So they, they announced on a Thursday that the... What am I doing? Okay. That the school was closing. Uh, no one was paid on Friday. Like 38 kids graduated on Saturday. And the school is closing on Wednesday. So they announced six s- the s- the closure of the school six days before it happened, <laughs> mm-hmm. even though it hasn't happened yet. Just to give you an idea. Oh. So, so Austin went to McNally, folks. Yes, that's the Austin that's the college a, that I went is to. An alumni music college. That's um, why you moved here. It is why I moved to Minnesota. Yes, and it's how I know pretty much everybody that I know, um, because I went there. Uh, so it's a pretty big deal. Yeah, I mean, Bracky. Rob, right. Well, the thing that's crazy about it is that uh, oh, Dabber, right? That's where Dabber formed. Shit, dude, keep going. Nah. Oh no, the ladder. <laughs> the straight l- straight the to ladder. heaven. God, why are those so hard to dodge? Dude, this last phase seems like a doozy. Yeah, this must be what gave people such problems. Like, it's kind of difficult to get to, and then you got to make it happen. But yeah, it's 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 a bittersweet thing because, like. No one is surprised that the school is closing, or no one that went there mm-hmm. or worked there or is, who is, knows. is surprised. Yeah. yeah, anyone that's familiar with it is not surprised because uh, it's been rocky oh. from the start. It started out in the '80s, the mid '80s, as a place called Guitar Center, uh, not the same Guitar Bef- Center that, that guitar you know Center. of. Uh, maybe it was called Shit. Guitar Center because it was just for guitar players. Because the two guys that founded it are guitar players. Um, and it was just a place where you could go, like, take lessons. And they kind of grew into being a sm- slightly larger Jesus. conservatory. And they started expanding into teaching other yeah, instruments. Yeah. And eventually it got to the point where they're like, hey, let's make it into a contemporary music college and go all the way with it. And the thing the thing about the school was is that all the teachers that were there were incredible people. And they were causing really talented players to you know be groomed there and come out of there you know every everything good that came out of the school was because of the faculty the faculty was incredible okay you know everybody that they they picked to work there was was great special shit thank you use your special use your special what the fuck am I okay here we go oh perfect timing you were about to die yep iframes baby Get me. Oh. yes yes okay this- oh. I got you <laughs> the ladder come on come on come on okay he's gonna do the big oh, thing in the oh. middle again no. oh shit how close are we oh we were halfway through the last phase that's pretty good we got this one yeah we got this um Back to the McNally story. Yep. <laughs> yeah. The, the thing that's so shitty about it is that the people who suffer the most from the sudden closure of the school are the most important people to the school, the faculty. You know, mm-hmm. they found out the day before their payday that they weren't going to get paid uh, and that they had lost their jobs. You know, and these people, these are people who have f- families to support their own livelihood. You know, like it was the main thing that they did. You know, it's obviously it sucks for students too who Jesus. have no schools to transfer to, mm-hmm. uh, or you know who have to find somewhere else to go. There are people who move internationally to go to this school. Like, there's one kid who's on like an like a work visa, wow. and you know he was gonna have to go back to Mexico when he finished his program, and now he's just like stuck here until his work visa expires, or he has to find a way to get back to Mexico with no money. You know things like that, mm-hmm. and there's like there's like 120 kids living in the residence hall for the school that have to move out immediately and have no food because they're on the school's meal plan, which is closed. 
Yeah. The dining hall is, or yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah, school's closed, so they can't get food. <laughs> so a lot of people got really screwed over overnight. Literally overnight got screwed. Um, so it's, it's, it's just sad because, like, the, the bureaucracy of the school is what was holding it back. Yep. Um, and they're the ones that suffered the least. However, uh, I do want, in case there is anyone listening to this that is privy, uh, there are some misconceptions to address. Um, Such as? A lot of people are blaming the founders for this, like, and saying that, you know, oh, they just, they just kept it from everybody until the last second because they were cowards, and, you know, they're sitting in their million-dollar mansions. Well, it's actually not true. Uh, the school was trying to switch to a non-profit status um, t- because they were in hurt hurt for so much money. Um, and... Oh, that, shit. That, I didn't see that Oh, one. shit. Um, the school was hurting for money big time, which also doesn't surprise anyone because um, enrollment was declining. Uh, the school lost an accreditation lawsuit like a year ago from someone who tried to transfer and apparently... McNally didn't do a very good job getting their accreditation or they fudged it a little bit or something uh, because the girl won the lawsuit and then everybody found out that the school wasn't properly accredited and that obviously tanked their enrollment. Uh, But anyways, a lot of people are blaming the founders and saying that they screwed everybody over. But really, oh, shit, I wasn't in the they were actually blue mode. They were actually in the process of trying to switch over to a nonprofit and trying to do everything that they could to stop this from happening and uh they like put their houses up as collateral and all kinds of stuff like that they like they really were trying to save the school um but unfortunately it just didn't work out so it the way the way that it went down made it look very selfish and conniving but according to a very trusted source that is not the case So it's just a sad story. It is all around. I mean, I'm fortunate that it doesn't really affect me in any way. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't regret any of the time or money that I spent there. It was. It was all worth it. Uh, but it sucks that it's not going to be there for more people. When you were saying that, you think this is going to negatively impact like Twin Cities music in general? Absolutely. Because I mean. I mean, you wouldn't. It, you literally would not th- be in Minnesota. Th- that's yeah. That school, Bar McNally. Smith. That school was supplying the Twin Cities music scene with musicians because mm-hmm. people were coming here to learn more from the school and get better and grow and meet other musicians. And they and they're, that they're was, already connected. It's so causing it's, bands to form. It's causing albums to be made. It's causing shows to happen. Um, and now all of that's going to go away. So yeah, it's it's going to be oh, a, it's going to be a huge blow to. A young, you know, up and coming amateur Twin Cities music. That's part. I think that's a big part of the reason why. I mean, obviously, it's not the only music school in the area, but it's certainly the only one of its kind. Mm-hmm. There's, there's really only like one other music school like McNally in the country for so, contemporary music. Yeah, that does it in the way that they do. God damn! I died exactly the same way last time. So yeah, it's a sad story. Um, I was planning on making like a little video to kind of give my my thoughts and my input on the whole situation because so many people have been weighing in on it on social media and whatnot. And when it, I don't know if I'll do that, but when it closed um, on in all the social media stuff, um, that made me realize like exactly how many people that I know are connected to it. Yeah. Like, you know, ten, Chop. ten people who who had graduated from there and and used what McNally had to offer, you know, all, yeah, or even somebody like Kyle G, who yeah. never never set foot in McNally. Really, well, that's not true. He, but he he never went there. Yeah, but it was still extremely important to his career. You know, because he he ran a cl- he helped Andrew run a club there, and he met so many people in the scene that went there. You know, all that kind of shit, so. Damn it. Exactly. I keep dying in that top right corner every time we do you this. You can take one. I got three. Oh, dude, you're killing it. You're killing it. 
Probably because I'm talking so much. I, I know the struggle. <laughs> this game is so hard to play when you're talking. That was a bad idea. Got you. Yeah. I figured it was better for me to take it like a man at the bottom of the screen and get saved. Then rather like than try to at the top. try to run away and then die. All right, we both have our special for the final phase. All right, I'll go first. Okay. What the fuck? Why, Vaughn? <laughs> that was horrible. Oh, God. What happened? Did you think I, you were me? I think I did. God. Lost focus for a second. God damn, dude. I said, okay, me first, and then stop. Like, brain off. Yeah. Oh, man. It's okay. I forgive you. Thank you. Ah, damn it. Jesus. What you um, doing we're down gonna, there? We're gonna... What you doing down there? We're gonna try that one. Is your dragon one tail wearing off? No. We should have brought dragon tails for this though. guy. Yeah, tell us about that. Vaughn was tasted a soda... Citrus one? Tasted a soda before the set, the, the session, yeah. Yeah. Your, yeah, your boy it's citrus tornado. Tornado. It did taste like a tornado. It was, it was a... It was, if it if was you're twisted. curious about this soda, actually, we taste it in the first episode of Majora's Mask. Whoa. And, oh. there is, and otherwise, there's a tasting video on the snack log. It's a very good soda. Oh, shit. Can we start over? Yep, we can. That was just trash. That was really good, though. Um, yeah, you, you had very, tasted it before, but you'd never had your own. Very, very flavorful. Oh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> it's very flavorful. It was. Very taste tasty. I think probably the most tasty dragon tail that I've... Really? More than more than Blazing Tropical? I mean, I guess like if you had so, if yeah. you had too many Red Bulls, you could have some bugaboos about Blazing Tropical because it does kind of taste like Red Bull. It's got that pineapple coconut thing. I think I did like it a little bit better than uh, Blazing. Okay. I think I still like Blazing Tropical the best, but the the sour citrus tornado is really good because it's like a lemon lime, mm -hmm. but it has like the the that bitter rind flavor in there too like on the end of it so it just tastes like oh very natural you see that i did see that that was a pretty good first phase only one damage each all right down to one damn it i did what i didn't want to do Shit! Ah, uh, fucking A. Thank gotcha. you so much, dude. I am playing this phase like garbage. I was killing this phase him, earlier. Alright, two specials. Two boys, two specials, three dragons. One. Shit. Ah! Oh, uh, what were you doing over there? I had to... I will... When you, you ran out of clouds? It, when, yeah, I tried to jump or dash over there. Oh, fuck. All right, and then I punked myself. We, we got to communicate a little bit better. Sorry. Yeah, I, I shouldn't have gone in that quickly. Should have. I should have waited until one of his attacks came out to what dodge the, the attack fuck? with my special. Freaking meatballs! Meatballs. They do look like meatballs. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Did you ever read that book when you were a kid? I did not. Didn't know it was a book. It was a book first. The movie is. Okay. Okay. It's extremely silly. If you're feeling really silly, it's funny. It looks very silly. It's absolutely silly. There's a sequel. I have no I don't think I've seen that one. It's one of those ones where like Oh my god, how many times have I done that? Help me. I tried. Right. I've died in that top right corner so many times. Cool. Sweet. Um saw a preview for a kid's book that I'm interested in recently. Like, for, uh, oh, yeah. like a movie adaptation. Uh-huh. Um, which I think you have probably seen the, the trailer as well. Because we both saw a, a movie recently. Mm. Uh, yes. What was it? There uh, were some good previews at that particular movie of which you are um, speaking. A Wrinkle in Time. Oh, did yeah. You, did you read that? Or did you uh, see the preview? No, I actually was confused because it was like based on the classic book and I had never heard of it before. I, I, everyone I, that I was with hadn't. I was the only one who had read the book. Yeah, I, I was not aware of it. How old is it? Um, it's like really old. I've had it 
since I was like seven or eight, I think. I've totally forgotten the trailer at this point as well. Um, a lot of magic, like creatures, and like, is it sci-fi or is it fantasy? It's um, or is it both? Both, but more heavy on fantasy. Okay. There was one. Uh, there was one other trailer that I saw that was really intriguing to me, and I don't remember what it was. Oh man, seeing Harry Potter also recently, mm -hmm. and you know, kind of getting it kind of made me want to read it again because it has been never read them since when I've since when I saw the movies. It's it's a few years on top of that since when I last read the books, which is when I was literally a kid. It made me want made me want there to be a good Aragon movie. Which there's, <laughs> Evidently, they not. might not get another chance at that. Yeah. Oh, that was nice, dude. Thank you. Yeah, they won't. But that's that makes me sad because I I really really enjoyed the books. Fuck. All right, we almost got him. Almost got him. Oh. I tried. Oh, you got two. I do have two. Now. Do it now. Here they come. All right, I'm using my special. That sacks. Yeah. All right. Oh, what am I doing? Stay in the middle. Or low. In the middle. Yeah, don't, get don't go on the top. Get low, get low. Dead. So that you have a better chance to save someone. Mm -hmm. His his big fire attack seems to always come right across the middle. Yep. So look out for that. I need a thing to just hold down the right trigger for me. So that I'm just always shooting. <laughs> and I don't have to hold it. Oh. Yeah, just tape it down. That would be nice. Shit. Gotcha. Wow, I was I was high. I'm getting really good at this first phase. The focus is on. I don't know if it was just like the slight amount of sugar that I needed. Uh. Wow. But I'm I'm feeling it now. You're feeling it? Yeah. Fuck. I kind of went into autopilot. There is no autopilot in Cuphead. Unless you're flying to your death. Then autopilot works great. Damn it. All right, Damn it, give me. This has got to be close. Yep, we yep. got him. All right, we both have our special. This is it, Vaughn. Me. Okay. <laughs> and me. No! Two boys, one. Two boys, one, one different flame. type of flame. <laughs> what, what got you? The same flame. It was two boys, one flame. Oh, yeah. But uh, yeah, I guess it was a different flame then. It was a different type of flame. Yeah. It wasn't the little Spitfire guys. It was the... This phase is cake now. <laughs> I, I, w I want no damage in the first phase. <laughs> Should I add in the... Poof? <laughs> yeah. The LRA start. Yeah. The rest. Man, there's there's some spicy of spicy uh compilations of resets. Those. I never think to like go watch Smash videos. Smash Smash highlights and compilations are pretty pretty fun. I have watched many in my day. And I think they're getting better. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, I went for a super spicy save and it didn't work. It, it looked flashy. And then I died. Did, he send out a, did you hear that? He sounded like he was sending out a tweet before he shot those. A tweet? Yeah. Hear, hear that? 
when he like ready next time he does it you'll have to listen before he does the Be yeah the before eyes? he does the first one when he like when his eyes go crazy for the first time He didn't do it. But he didn't do the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. You'll, you'll hear it next time. If, unless we win right now. <laughs> I like that optimism. Gotta, gotta have some hope. Two boys, one fire. God, what was that seven? Number six. Six? Yeah. Snacks will get red hot. Sometimes. You hear that? When it's like... Yeah. Is that what happens when you send a tweet? Isn't it? Or something like that? Mine doesn't do that. I think when you... Okay, maybe it's just older phones, but yeah. That used to be Twitter's thing, I believe. The cat call? Yeah. Weird. I have never heard well, of no, such a thing. It's not quite a cat call. It's close. Right. Yeah. It's more two, t two tones instead of like a slide. Yeah. Yeah, I've never heard Twitter make sounds like that before. Are really any sounds? Get him out of here. Oops. Stayed on the cloud too long. Watch out. Whoa! <laughs> Fuck. Clouds are cheesing ya! Got him. Good. All right, I got you my special. And here it goes. And I'm dead. Oh. Wow, you had a spare HP. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Shit. <sighs> God. God. I... Does he have any indication that he's doing he that? He does, but he... we haven't figured out what it is yet. Like, I think either you just have to watch his head, like, transform, and that's all you get. And you gotta get to the top. I suppose you could get to the bottom as well, but it'd be harder. What the? Buckle, 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 buckle. I feel like I'm getting better at this phase, but I'm Good. still not quite great at the first phase. I got the first one's number. <laughs> Speed dial? I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing pretty good on this one, too. All right, here comes my special. How did I take damage during that? Shit. How did I take damage during that? That was garbage. <laughs> I like how he's like, better flee. <laughs> I'll wait until he actually shoots stuff to use my special. So now I can actually get more out of it by dodging some attacks. Shit. Quiet out here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Boys are concentrating. We are. We're zoning in. Uh, we want to beat this guy. It's going to be that time where it takes... Takes, takes the Takes focus. two weeks. It takes two, they say. To tango. To two weeks to beat a Cuphead boss. That's what they were talking about. <laughs> it is. They were ahead of their time, really. Yeah. To have that kind of foresight. Mm-hmm. Incredible. 
It's like some David Bowie level fight set, uh, foresight. Fight set? <laughs> Five sight, yeah. Oh! Two boys, one thing, but we're not dead. Foresight's so good, it's five sight. Ah! Alright, we both got our special. That's good. Here I go. And I'm dead. Oh, please! Ah! Oh. I tried to watch for this, the thing. To, to, to like a wind-up on it. The big fire? Yeah, but then... Man. The head just goes back a little bit and transforms, and that's it. Damn it. Did not want to take that hit. No. No! <laughs> Unacceptable! No! Need some more chips after this. They're calling me. I do have another kind of chips too. If yeah, you into that? I am. Well, that that basil flavor just keeps me coming back. You, Vaughn, have you ever eaten at Freddy's? Freddy's? I don't believe so. Where's that? There's only like two in the cities. One of them's in Maple Grove, right by where I work. The burger place. Their slogan is "Shit, the taste that brings you back." It's a very, it's a very clever double meaning. Because mm -hmm. it's like old timey, like it brings you back to the to it to a different time, but brings but it also eat. brings you back, like <laughs> yep. you come again. <laughs> every time I every time I eat there and I see that slogan on oh. the on the cup, I'm like, "Damn, Freddy's, you know what you're doing." The latter, <laughs> not the former. Nope, the latter. Oh. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh. Damn it! Yes! Alright, we've got two specials. We just need to get to the end. It's taking forever this time. Uh, ugh! Because we keep dying. Oh, no. The ladder! Nope. Nope. Fuck. Alright, learn something, Austin. Good eye. Mate. Oh. What? I don't understand how they explode. Or when. Yeah. I don't know what's triggering that. Like, do they... Do they get shot by our shots and then they explode? Because sometimes they just go off screen without ever breaking open. Right. Or do they do it, like, based on proximity? Are they, like, mines? Where they explode if you get close enough? Oh. Oh. I, uh... Totally yeah. forgot the tail. Focus 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 Become the cup Yes Am cup That wasn't the cup That wasn't the cup? I have to become the mug, sorry Yes I was trying to become Don't become the cup I'm the cup You are the mug Got this Got this. Oh Whoa. my god, no. Watch out. Somebody ripped every art asset from this game. Really? Yeah, and it's in like a massive, massive Google Drive file. Like, like super high res, uh, like every frame of every animation, of everything. It's insane. So like all the backgrounds and there'd be like this cloud in like, you know, regular form and then the changed form and then like the few frames that are in between, all these little fire guys, different animations and faces, like it, every single possible art frame wow. in the game has been ripped. Juan is doing great. I am not. But I'm I pretty, gotta learn, pretty I gotta good learn at something eating here. chips. I gotta learn something here. Oh, they just when they hit when they hit clouds. I can't. I don't understand. I think they explode if you Whoa. shoot them too. Ugh. Yeah, the the head 
just quickly transforms into the red thing, and that's all you get. It's brutal. That's the only wind-up that you get. All right, folks, one more for this episode. Okay, last attempt. Unless we just get wrecked in the beginning here. Yeah. Yeah, barring restarts. Come on, baby. Show us what you got. Show, Show us, us what you got. Your moves. Damn it. There's so much to think about. Yeah, so much to is. remember. I'm shooting you right in the eyeballs. That should count for something. You should just die. Instead of being such a jerk. All right. Oh, I've been in the on. zone on this one for the last few times, so... Let's see if we can... Yeah, I was in the zone before and something happened. Fell out of the zone. I'm not in the zone anymore. Thank you. Oh! There we go. Zone reclaimed. <laughs> Oh, I got you, bud. Walking. All right, all right, all right, all right. Two boys, two specials. Me first. You first. There it goes. Don't get hit by that flame. I got hit. I got hit. Yes. Me. I got you. I got you. You got to use your special. You got to use it. Here comes the big fire. Here comes the big fire. Well, I'm safe. No, I'm not. Oh, I was just too high. Oh. Damn it. Yeah, his face opens like all the way. Okay. When he's transforming. Into the red thing? We said that was only one more, but are we doing this again? Yep. Okay, one like more. It. Next week on the show... Uh... We'll play the game. We'll, we'll see. It could be this again, or it could be... It could be something different. It could be World 3. Who knows? If, if this goes well. Uh, but what we do know is on the, Monday... On Monday, you'll have some more Fire Emblem Sacred Stones as we close in on the end. Jesus. Oh my god. And then <laughs> on Wednesday, we'll have Champions of Norath. Kyle H. Great guy. He is a great guy. We're closing in on the end of that one, too. Get it, Start getting excited for new stuff, people. Yep. Um, and then... Hype F. Yes. We'll have all our snacks and sodas on the Instagram. That's for, our for snack log. And then we'll have... Uh, tweets and stuff. Tweets and stuff, yeah. Street or you can, you can tweet some stuff. Let us know your favorite snack or soda or episode or whatever. And then, yes, there'll be a Twitch stream at the end of the month. Hope to see you there. I also want to talk about, like, pipe fittings or something weird. I don't know. We'll take anything. Pipe fittings. Yeah. Make it happen.